What's up, renovators, and welcome to DK Legacy Investment YouTube page. Today, we're going to talk about sliding door installation. Now, we purchased two five panel solid core 32 inch doors that we're going to hang today. And the uh, hardware we're going to use is a John Sterling two panel bypass sliding door hardware. It comes with everything you need to hang the doors. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and get the open and make sure we have everything needed to hang the doors. All right, so we're gonna take the double J steel track and we're gonna install it into the header. It has holes there already, so you can just screw straight into those holes to mount it, mount it to your header. So once we get done with that, we're gonna grab the doors and head outside. Do I have flip flops on? Yes. Is it snow on the ground? Yes. But it is what it is. Make sure you wear a proper PPE. All right, so first things first, this door is about 80 inches long. I need to shave off an inch and a half to bring it to 78 and a half inches so the door can hang properly. You don't want your door to hit the floor because it won't open smoothly. So I measure an inch and a half from the bottom in three different places on the ends and also in the center. And I'm gonna take a straight edge right here I'm using a piece of base trim and I'm gonna scribe my line you can use a level or you can just take a chalk line and just pop a line alright so once I draw my line I'm going to take my circular saw, which is a skill circular saw, and we're going to cut that inch and a half right off. All right, so after I made my cut, I always do a measurement just to make sure everything is good. So the measurement now should be 78 and a half inches. And now we're gonna go and install the door rollers. Now I measure five inches off each side. So, and I drew a line and I installed the door rollers on the edge of that line. Now there are two sets and each set is different from the other. One set is a little flatter. The second set looks more like a 90 degree angle from the wheel. When you install each set to the door, keep the sets identical. You don't want to mismatch sets. It's going to throw off the entire thing. All right, so I use my impact drill to screw these screws in. Impact drills work better when you're screwing screws into wood or just in general. So we did this process for both doors. Now we're going to actually hang the door. So we're going to put the door on the back of the J track first. The one that's furthest inside the closet. And you lift it up at an angle, put the wheels on the bottom of the track and just pop it in there and then let it go and it'll hang. Nice. All right, so once we have the inner door in, now we're gonna get the next door for the outer door. So the outer door has the flatter um, door rollers on it The door rollers have more of a 90 degree angle goes on the inner door 
the door that's most in the closet and the rollers the flatter roller rollers go on the outer door so now checking to make sure everything is rolling smoothly might do any adjustments I had to get a longer screw now we have the plastic door guide and so if we just snap it together on each side make sure both doors are pushed towards the end on one side slide it in there and then you screw it down with some construction screws This keep the door steady and swinging back and forth. Now this is what it looks like all painted. Thank you for watching DK Legacy Investment as we talked about sliding door installation. Like and share and check out our next video.